There is internet fiber along the railroad tracks, but you can't actually use it for the backhaul for the train's Wi-Fi. Why not? Well, you have to get it from in the fiber optic cable to inside the train. So you could put either repeaters, which would cost money, some kind of wireless routers, basically every train length, the whole length of tracks, but that's very expensive. A lot of people think, hey, why don't we get it into the tracks themselves and then through the metal wheels it should be able to get into the train that way. But it turns out that doesn't work very well because the train tracks are just these steel rails with no shield. Every communications cable has, you know, shielding on the outside and or twisted pairs or like ethernet cables, both to protect the signal, both stop the signal from leaking out as radio waves and to stop radio waves from nearby getting inside. What is an antenna? A piece of wire with no shielding on it. So as soon as you try to just put the internet into that rail, it starts leaking out and interfering with all sorts of radios near the train track. And radios near the train tracks start adding interference and slowing it down. And it doesn't go as far as you would think. Because it's all leaking out, you end up having to have repeaters every couple miles to re-inject the internet signal into the track. You're back where you started. You might as well have just used the radio repeaters. But they're expensive. This is why trains instead start going with cellular those tend to work much further. And, you know, the cellular providers have already put up the towers. They don't have to put new radios every couple meters because they're there. So you're saying you would need the repeaters for powering it through the train tracks. Yeah, even if you were trying to send the internet through the track, the signal would radiate off in, into the air and not make it that far down the track. So you'd have to have repeaters connect to the tracks to get internet in and out of them every couple miles. So right now, in fact, typically for the trains that are electric, they'll have a power station that's injecting the electricity into the tracks to keep it going. Every 40 kilometers, which is pretty far, but you can't, there's no way to make internet through the tracks go 40 kilometers. You can't just do it there. You'll have to have additional stations you put in the whole way along. You could do it with enough power, right? Just I don't know. It starts really radiating and really interfering with things and government agencies like the FCC and things will come down on you. Some of the power companies at one point did some experiments where they tried to provide high speed internet down the power lines into people's houses and it messed with Wi-Fi and cell phones and GPSs and they had to shut the whole thing down. So you can't get internet from your power company because so much leaked out. Subscribe for more stories on connectivity and security.